Pet Magazine discussing this week's six picks for your weekend entertainment. And it is almost time for Halloween. So first up, we're talking about the opening of the mortuary. That's right. Halloween weekend is just a month away. If you're ready to get scared this Saturday night, you'll want to check out the grand reopening of the mortuary on Saturday. This is taking place in mid city. This year's theme is the mortuary strikes 12. It's a very scary haunted house. Not for the faint of heart. Something neat. If you donate blood to the blood center out on the premises, you'll receive a free express admission ticket. Be on the lookout in a couple weeks. The mortuary is opening a new haunted house in City Park. It'll be located on Scout Island called the Scout Island Scream Park. Should be a great way to get your heart pounding <laughs> leading up to Halloween. Can't wait for both of these events. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, next up, we've got Nola on tap. Animal and beer lovers unite this Saturday at City Park. It's the return of NOLA on tap. Largest beer festival in the Gulf South raises money for the LASPCA. Hundreds and hundreds of beers will be available for tasting, both from local breweries as well as others from all over the world. Admission is just $5. Beer tickets sell for a dollar each. Each tasting is about one to three tickets. Great music lineup this year. They have Sexual Thunder and Givers performing, as well as food from Velvet Cactus and others. Bring your dog out on Saturday. It is pet friendly, or you can adopt a dog right there at the festival. And third, it is the National Fried Chicken Festival. Yeah, one of the biggest festivals in town returns this weekend. The third annual National Fried Chicken Festival returning to Wallenberg Park. Last year, over 100,000 people attended over the two days to try chicken from 35 different restaurants. Not only places like Willie Mays and other local spots, but restaurants as far away as Georgia, Tennessee, and California. Our tip, arrive early to avoid waiting the long lines or maybe head over later in the afternoon. That'll help avoid some of the heat as well. Amanda Shaw, Flow Tribe, and others will be performing. While the festival is free to attend, do consider a VIP ticket. That'll get you fried chicken, champagne, and a place to sit down and relax. Very nice. And here are the rest of our Where at Magazine Six Picks. We've got the music for Mental Health Fundraiser at Gasa Gasa. And then Main Line is going to be performing live at Three Keys, which is inside the Ace Hotel. Then, of course, you've got the Saints versus Falcons. And if you want to catch that, they're having a watch party at Old Saint. So if you want to find out more about these events, as always, you can log on to our website at WDSU.com or pick up this month's edition of Variat Magazine. Josh Danzig, publisher of Variat, thanks so much for joining us.